In 2005, one of Ethiopia's remote region was rocked by over 400 earthquakes in just a few days. The ground split open, creating a 37-mile-long fissure up to 25 feet wide, a crack so massive it was like the earth itself was gasping for breath. This dramatic event was a glimpse into a slow-motion catastrophe where the continent is literally being torn apart in two. Deep beneath the plains of East Africa, a geological drama is playing out that could redefine our planet's geography. The East African Rift System, a colossal 2,000-mile-long fracture stretching from Ethiopia to Malawi, marks the line along which Africa is splitting. In simple words, the African continent is breaking into two distinct plates. This separation is happening at an almost unnoticeable pace about 0.2 inches or 5 millimeters per year, roughly the speed at which your fingernails grow. But its consequences are global. This change did not start recently. This rift isn't a single crack in one place, but a vast network of valleys like a giant scar running through countries such as Ethiopia, Kenya, Tanzania, Uganda, and Mozambique. This isn't the first time Earth has seen such spectacle. About 230 million years ago, the supercontinent Pangaea began to break apart, eventually giving birth to the Atlantic and the Indian Oceans. In 2018, a huge crack tore through Kenya's nearby Narok Highway, halting traffic and sparking global headlines. While scientists believe heavy rainfall and erosion might have played a big role in this crack, it is a reminder of what is beneath our feet. New research suggests that some parts of Africa could be splitting faster than once we thought. In just 5 to 10 million years, a blink of an eye in geological terms, the East African rift could give birth to Earth's sixth ocean, flooding the rift valley with seawater. Countries like Somalia, eastern Ethiopia, Kenya, and Tanzania may break away, forming a new continent or island chain like Madagascar. Meanwhile, some landlocked nations like Uganda and Zambia could one day have brand new coastlines.